What is up, YouTube guys? Jericho426 coming at you with another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Today, guys, we are going to be talking a little bit about this, this, this month's side quest. Only like three seconds in this video, I'm already like, bad. you're just the spitting out stuff. Um, but this month's side quest. Um, in particular, this week's uh, whole kind of boss rush, I guess you want to call it. Um, and we're not even going to be talking so much about the boss, Apocalypse, even though we could talk about him. He's a little bit of a chore, but not too bad. But really, I think what's throwing most people off is Weapon X. Yes, Wolverine Weapon X is not put into much content these days, but uh, when he is, he is a little bit of a chore. I know that he certainly threw me off a little bit and uh, took some learning of the best ways and the best people to bring in to defeat this, this dastardly champion. So today, guys, we are going to discuss some of the best options uh, that you can use to defeat said Weapon X. Now, I will have gameplay for uh, some of the fights. I will not have gameplay for all of them just because it, it takes a while to, to run through. I mean, even though there's only two champions performed, they're still there kind of high level, and I wanted to give you at least something to look at. But again, we're going to discuss some of the best options. He does have some really strange interactions with some champions that don't seem like maybe they should happen, and sometimes maybe they should. I don't know. Guys, if you could do me a gigantic favor and go ahead and put a little thumbs up on the video. I really do appreciate your support on everything that I do. That being said, we have just hit 1,000 subscribers. I think it was just like last week and we have been doing awesome. I'm really happy with the way the channel is growing guys. Thank you so much for your support. Once again, I would ask you also go over and find me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Jericho 426 and follow me on there as well, guys. We're like 10 followers away from affiliate. So any help on Twitch as well would be much, much appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get in to how to defeat Weapon X in this month's kind of meh side quest. Now first, let's learn a few things about Weapon X and how his abilities actually work. So the first thing you need to know is that he is immune to all types of regeneration rate modification except poison. Now this seems to not always be the case and sometimes be the case, which means he is definitely affected by poison, but he does seem that he can be affected by other champions, just very champion based. Now, one thing you really gotta pay attention to when fighting Weapon X are his rage passives. He will gain a rage charge each time he's struck, one of his abilities fails to trigger due to chance, or a debuff is purified off of the opponent. When he is gaining a rage charge, all of his berserk rage effects are unaffected by ability accuracy reduction. Again, kinda, kinda not. He's a very strange champion the way things work. Now at 25 rage charges, this is what you really have to pay attention to. He will enter Berserk Rage. And this, uh, this is where a lot of people start to get in trouble. Because when he enters Berserk Rage, Weapon X goes unstoppable for four seconds. But in addition to that unstoppable, you can also see that all of his attacks are unblockable and he is immune to stun effects. This creates quite an issue because you could be in the midst of a special attack hitting Weapon X and then all of a sudden you hit 25 race charges, he goes unstoppable, unblockable, and then once you exit out of that special attack, he just starts wailing into you and you die kind of quick if you're fighting in either the legendary or the epic levels of the side quest. So initially when looking at this side quest, I thought, you know, this is going to be a really good side quest for tech champions. Uh, you can see, I mean, except for magic, we pretty much have nothing but mutant champions. And a lot of these guys are going to be obliterated by some of the best tech champions. But that actually wasn't the case when it comes to Weapon X himself. Now, first let's start with who you absolutely do not want to use in this fight. You do not want to use Ghost. Uh, Ghost might seem like a nice safe option because again, you can miss a lot of his unblockable attacks, but as you can tell from right here, anytime Weapon X misses or is evaded, he actually goes unstoppable for one second. So you'll see here as Ghost backs up and phases again, she will actually not do so well because Weapon X, yeah, he's just going to plow right through her. So Ghost, not the best option for this fight. That is going to mean that neither is Quake in these situations, again, for that same reason. 
So, going from the absolute worst champions to use, that being Ghost, Quake, or even Kitty Pride in this situation, um, we're going to go to the best champion. And it may be kind of surprising because, again, it seems like a good quest to use a lot of tech champions. However, Archangel is unequivocally, in my opinion, the best champion to take against Weapon X. Let me just state beforehand, little disclaimer, no matter how good a champion is at countering Weapon X, you really do have to be on top of your game when playing against him because there is no way to counter his unblockable or to stop him from gaining his rage charges. So no matter how good a champion is, you're still gonna to want to be on your game because you can still make plenty of mistakes. I made plenty of mistakes when trying to record some of this footage. Uh, you're gonna see in this one, I am actually going against the epic level, not the legendary level of Weapon X. And that's just because it was easier for me to fight all the, all the way up to him uh, using the, uh, the little bit of a weaker champion. So I did this just to save time, uh, but the same strategies will apply. Again, you're gonna use Archangel like you would normally. You're just going to parry and heavy and you're going to see as you start to place those neurotoxins and or the poisons onto weapon x you will start to get rid of his regeneratability uh he's not going to be able to regenerate but as well you're going to see because of those neurotoxins decreasing his ability actually look at that he didn't actually go unblockable when in or i should say unstoppable when entering rage mode now he still has his unblockable but he did not go unstoppable. Now, the best thing about this is he likes to throw a lot of specials once he is in rage mode. At least he did whenever I was playing him. The big thing here, bait his specials, bait his heavy attacks. He likes to throw a lot of both and just make sure you are dodging while he has that unblockable active. Now, you're gonna notice that his rage charges go down, but as we are striking into him, he does seem to gain a few more. He shouldn't really gain as many back, like back to 25 or something like that. He's gonna keep on going down. And once he's out of this rage mode, he has a 20 second cooldown timer before he can hit it again. And at that point, that's really when you wanna go ham uh, into him. Now, I will say, when he is in his rage mode, be careful when you're using Archangel because when his neurotoxins expire normally, the opponent is stunned, but he is immune to stun when he is in rage mode. So definitely don't go in and try to use your stun ability from that neurotoxin expiring when he's in rage mode. You're not going to have a good day. Our second notable champion to take on Weapon X in this quest is Silver Centurion. Now, he may not seem like the best champion to take in against Weapon X, as you do kind of have to be up close to Weapon X and in order to get him to to really work well but i did find that his heal block ability did affect weapon x now you're going to see in this fight i don't leave this fight with all of my health i definitely make mistakes but that has more to uh speak about my gameplay ability and how much i was paying attention to weapon x other than uh just how good silver centurion is at taking on weapon x he will place those plasma debuffs on weapon x which is going to constantly be draining his health anyway now it's not going to affect his regeneration rate however once we enter lock on mode you're going to see when we throw that special one and then we place the heal block on him he's going to stop healing so much energy and so this is a great example of where a champion shouldn't be able to affect his healing ability but he is able to affect his healing ability you can tell he's not gaining even though he has regenerations on him he is still just taking damage. I'm not seeing any rege regeneration coming on to Weapon X. And like I said, even though I didn't leave the fight with all of my health, uh, we ended up getting the win against Weapon X using, using Silver Centurion. He is definitely not only one of the best champions to take against Weapon X, but also he is really good in this entire quest. I really loved using him against Gambit and against Professor X as well. Now, Warlock can also do fairly well in this fight, although he is not my favorite champion to take into this, uh, simply because he really doesn't have a way to stop that unblockable, even though neither did Silver Centurion. But for some reason, I just didn't find the Warlock fight to be uh, as simple as something like Silver Centurion. Now, I will say the big thing you've got to pay attention to besides that <laughs> um, when playing with Warlock is if he is building up his rage charges, be very careful if you hit your special two before you push him into those rage charges. I found that because he does so many hits in his special two, uh, the special two has actually pushed him into that 25 uh, rage passives. And then he, he just, he went unblockable and unstoppable and just 
destroyed me in that. So you really got to pay attention to that. Now, the infected ability with Warlock does affect his regeneration rate. Again, another one of those things where it shouldn't be able to affect him, but it does affect him. And so it will drop that as well. You can see it will stop him from getting to some of his specials once you get that power drain. So again, Warlock can be very useful uh, against Weapon X. He wasn't my my number one go-to but yeah if if warlock is somebody on your team he is definitely a go-to champion against weapon x one final note on using warlock be sure that when you are fighting against weapon x you do take the opportunities to strike into his block again you can place technovirus charges on weapon x whenever you are striking into a block this is going to ensure that he maintains that infection and that you are constantly heal blocking the champion now, Penny Parker is an interesting one. I think she can be a very good choice for this fight, but again, it's going to take some skill to play her. And again, her special one attack, which is very similar to Warlock's special attack, special attack two, has a lot of hits in it. So again, you can see this one will actually push him into those rage or that rage passive again. So you got to be very careful when using Penny Parker when trying to build up. Again, if you can manage to build up appropriately and hit her special two, she can really tank Wolverine as well. Now you can see right there, I just pushed him into that rage and, and she's going to start taking some damage. Now I will say though, again, her heal block has the ability to heal block Wolverine and indeed will actually damage him whenever they do. Uh, the good thing about Penny Parker, I don't know if you'll see it in this fight, but when she has so many stacks of her passives, uh, she can actually block unblockable hits. So that can give her another right there. She can actually block and it'll give her another layer of protection just in case you mess up and you're doing really bad. You can see I didn't do very well in this fight, but Penny Parker is a good champion to take in against Wolverine Weapon X. Again, if you're playing very cautiously and very carefully and paying attention to everything that's going on in his kit. Now, if you're looking to just straight affect his ability to heal, you can go with any of your poison champions. And again, you can bring in Diablo. Um, he, he does fine. I didn't have as good of a time with Diablo just based on how he has to play. Uh, but I will say that using Immortal Abomination was very effective, especially once you hit that acid burn. But surprisingly, so was using the Abomination and Red Guardian Synergy. And of course, now Abomination is not a top tier champ, but if your roster is a little lackluster uh, and you don't have all the abilities uh, or all the best champions to use, definitely bring in Abomination, especially if you do have a Red Guardian in, uh, in your roster. This really does well because the Red Guardian Synergy actually gives you a 50% chance on any uh, strike to place a poison effect. So you can see right here, we're already placing those poisons. We've already got three up and this is going to affect his regeneration rate. So this is actually a really good option if you don't have some of the better tech champions or especially, like I said earlier, an Archangel to use. Now you're not going to be able to affect his unstoppable or his unblockable. So you're really going to have to work on baiting out those specials, baiting out those heavy attacks to, in order to use him effectively. But again, you can see we've got six, seven, um, we've got seven poisons on to Wolverine right now. And even though he is still healing, uh, that regeneration rate is being uh, decreased and he is taking a lot of poison damage from this abomination. So some other notable champions to bring into the fight. Guillotine 2099 is not going to be a bad option. She is going to have that power control with her special one, as well as the bleed immunity. Hulkbuster, I did try him out. He's not too bad. Uh, you can do some energy drain or some power drain on him, I should say, uh, as well as go unblockable with your special attacks and place those shock debuffs. But again, he doesn't have a great way to deal with the regeneration ability for Weapon X. Again, looking at the Mystic class, Long Shot would be a very good option if you can hit Hit the heavy attacks and going into your special two you can place those incinerates and really do a whole lot of damage and as like i mentioned before diablo wouldn't be as bad of a choice either um you don't want to go with too many nullify champs just because his abilities his unblockable and unstoppable they are passive abilities and even his regeneration is all passive so you can't really nullify anything on him which is unfortunate but that is one of the things that makes him so challenging now looking at the cosmic class hyperion again not a bad option uh, especially if he is awakened, you're going to gain your power gain abilities a whole lot faster, which means you can just kind of hold back, wait for your special three. I did this a little bit, but honestly, my Hyperion wasn't very powerful enough, uh, and, and the fight just seemed to lag on. So 
The other one that you can really use if you're very good at playing her is Proxima Midnight. If you're very good at using Proxima Midnight in general, you can run through a lot of the content in the game, building up her Furies and her passives, uh, and then throwing off a special two or a special three. Uh, she can really tank a lot of damage. It takes a little bit of patience during the fight, but if you are good at Proxima Midnight, uh, absolutely, she is a great champion to take in against Weapon X. Looking at our skill roster, I'm not too thrilled about the skill roster when going against Weapon X. Uh, I will say Elsa Bloodstone would be a good option because she can lay down some damage over time debuffs on him. But, you know, maybe Gwynpool, but again, I'm not going to go uh, too far into my skill roster when looking to take on Weapon X. Surprisingly, Captain America Infinity War I thought would be a good option for him, but he didn't turn out to do as well as I thought. So, you know, looking at the science team, uh, again, bringing in Abomination with red guardian or uh the immortal abomination was a great choice human torch as well you could lay down some incinerates on the opponent just remember these guys are not bleed immune so uh you're going to be taking a lot of damage if you don't bait and avoid and evade those specials appropriately and then finally looking at our mutant roster here archangel was a top notch choice he was very very good i really liked him apocalypse wouldn't be necessarily so bad or you could even go with something like colossus where you're going to be using just the ability to avoid all the bleeds that he can place on you so again you're not going to get much out of regeneration control here but you will have some protection when going in against weapon x overall guys again weapon x is a very difficult opponent to play against if you're not paying attention to him you cannot just passively go into this fight uh, you really do need to pay attention to all of his rage charges and his timer on his rage ability once it is active be very careful when he goes unstoppable and of course unblockable remember you cannot stun him you cannot stun him when he is in his rage so just be very careful bait out those specials bait out those heavy attacks and with a little bit of patience you can absolutely take down weapon x remember the other thing too about the side quest guys it doesn't require any any energy even though it might be frustrating to go back through and have to defeat the other two champions building up to weapon x if you find that you're just really losing against weapon x just restart the quest uh, because you're going to want to have a champion with at least or, or close to full health whenever you go in to fight the apocalypse boss so again just a little bit of patience a little bit of practice and you too will be able to defeat weapon x with ease